Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. Today I'm going to show you how I make my lamb stuffed cabbage rolls. Yeah, this is a new version of the Salama. I'm not sure if you've seen that video. Go back and look at it. Right, so here I've got 500 grams of lamb mince. I've just purchased that from the supermarket. It was on the shelf, it was available, it was quite affordable given the current crisis that we're in. One onion, finely chopped go straight in and about two cups worth of shredded vegetables I've got some carrots some beetroot there's a little bit of uh, zucchini in there a little bit of uh, broccoli all shredded up nice and fine they can just go straight in whatever vegetables you like can go in I'm going to add in some garlic paste around about the equivalent of two to three cloves worth of garlic freshly ground black pepper give that a real good seasoning up lamb can actually take a fair bit of seasoning and a good pinch of salt that can go straight in and some smoked paprika that can go in and use the smoked paprika of your choice there are hot and there are sweet and there are mild I'm going to put in two tablespoons worth of tomato paste concentrate that's going to give it another little sweetness again and we're just going to mix all of this up get all those flavors to know each other real well and it's going to take you a little bit of time maybe you could use your hands it would be a little bit quicker to do so but i'm just using my wooden spoon just like i'm doing right there right so what we need to do is get some cabbage leaves and you need to very carefully peel these leaves off the cabbage if they do tear a little bit don't be too concerned as you can see this one's torn up pretty good we've got a pot of nice hot water there almost coming up to the boil we're going to put that out leaf in until it sort of just starts to change color but sort of blanching them and it will help soften these up and make these easier to work with you will see they'll start to go a little bit of a darker color of green and at that point we can take them out and they're now ready for stuffing put them down make sure you get them all nice and flat like I've done there and as I said they have torn a little bit trying to get them off the uh, cabbage itself but don't worry, we can get around that. We're going to spoon some of our filling in on one end. I've got this uh, all set out like a spring roll or a burrito. And all we need to do is tightly wrap these up. And you start from the bottom, start rolling towards the top, fold the uh, edges over. We're going to work our way up to where the stalk is. With a nice little sharp knife. We can cut that little uh, stalk off just like that and we're going to put that straight into our slow cooker or a pot if you wish or saucepan depending on where you're from and how you like to call it and we're just going to keep continuing until we've used up all of our uh, stuffing mix that we have made very very simple just roll them up fold the edges over try and get the uh, any holes filled in and tightly pack them into our slow cooker traditionally you can actually buy these cabbage leaves already soaked and brined uh, from your delicatessen when you're finished it should look a little bit like that all the kitties in the pot all ready to go now I need to make up our cooking liquid and that's not too hard to do right and if you haven't had stuffed cabbage leaves before you don't know what you're missing absolutely fantastic I've got six tablespoons of tomato paste concentrate I'm going to add a little bit of warm water into that and we're just going to mix that up and start diluting that into that water just to get things happening and make things uh, get that tomato flavor to spread a little bit easier throughout the whole dish it's not too hard this at all so mix that up and as you can see it really becomes like a bit of a sauce now i've got some chicken stock yep just pre-bought chicken stock i was able to find that in the supermarket otherwise i would have used a bouillon powder and some water to make up my chicken stock or even better yet if you have fresh chicken stock or even frozen chicken stock in the fridge use that as well pour that liquid all over the rolls in the slow cooker just like that and here i've got a nice piece of speck it's going to give that a rough chop like that and it's going to add a real nice smokiness to the whole dish it absolutely tastes fantastic that uh, bacony type flavor just permeates every ounce of our meal look at that that beautiful pork fat and a little bit of meat and that smoky skin that just adds to it but everything's in there all done I'm gonna put on the lid and just turn it on and walk away for about four hours maybe five hours depending on how 
dents you made your little rolls very very simple now time has gone by and I've just got a little bit of brown rice it's just a microwave brown rice I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not gonna sugarcoat this it's all I had it was all I was able to get no fresh rice available at the moment and just serve your little rolls up make sure you get plenty of liquid make sure you get some of that pork bone you could use a uh, pork rib as well if you wanted to use that a smoked pork rib also available with some delicatessens just serve it up like that and there you go KP's stuffed lamb stuffed cabbage rolls how easy was that really good in budget times and times of difficulty just like this also fantastic in winter I love making food like this it's so uh, hearty and warming and absolutely perfect for a cold winter's day as well thank you so much for watching this video really do appreciate it gives me confidence should make you feel warm and fuzzy too please share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media We're trying to get the name of kp's kingdom out there don't forget to hit that notifications bell you'll be notified every time a new video goes up i've just served this with a little bit of uh, toast you could use bread rolls if you can get them or you can make them or if you've got flour to make them up to you but there you go kp's lamb stuffed cabbage rolls at once again I'm off to eat these, and I will catch you next time.